In this video, we are going to see how to save Telegram messages to Microsoft Excel sheet. So let's say you are using Telegram as an instant social messaging app and every time you receive a new message, this new message should be added as a new row in your Excel spreadsheet. Now how would you do this? By integrating these two applications. And this entire process, this integration can be done and get automated with the help of Pabli Connect. Here, your trigger application would be Telegram and your action application would be Microsoft Excel. Now, how would you do this yourself? To tell you that, let me take you to my screen. So, to begin with, we are going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in and if you are a new user, then you will have to click on sign up. It will not take more than two minutes and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in. I'm going to sign in and here it has taken me to the all apps page. Since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, click on access now here. And now it has taken us to the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box appears, which is asking us to name this. So here our objective, we wish to save telegram messages to our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to name it as telegram to MS Excel integration. And now let's click on create. So once done here, you can see two very important events on this page, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action says do this. Basically, trigger is that makes the workflow run and action is the response of the trigger. So here my trigger application would be telegram. So let's select telegram here. Telegram. And now what do I want? I want to set webhook or watch updates. Now let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Telegram bot account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection. And then here you can see that to set up the connection, we need a token. Now to receive this token, we have to follow certain steps. For that, I'm taking you to my Telegram account. So now here you can see what father. So I'm going to click on this and now let's start a new conversation. So here to start a new conversation, we have to write slash new bot and then enter. Once we do here, it is saying that, okay, you have to choose a name for your bot. So let's say it is Excel messages and now enter. So as soon as I do that, it is asking me to choose a username. So it is Excel M underscore bot. Let's click on enter. And as soon as we do that here, it is saying that, yes, we have created our new bot. And uh, if we go here, we'll be able to find it. And this is the token, which is important for us to set up the connection. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect. And here, let's paste the token. Now let's click on save. Once done here, We'll click on save and send test request. Now here it is asking me to do a test submission so that you know the re response can be captured here. So I'm again going to go back to Telegram and here this is the link of my new bot. I'm going to click on this and start a conversation here. Let's simply write hi. So once done here, you can see it in the chat box. Now I have to create a new group. Let's click on this and new group. Let's add a few members here. And uh, once done, I also have to add the new board that I've just created. So it was Excel messages. Let's click on this and click on enter. Once done, let's give it a group name. So it is, let's say Excel messages, one, two, three, four. And now I'm going to click on enter. So once this is done, here you can see that uh, your group has been created and these are your group members. Here, remember that you have to make your bot the admin. So this can easily be done through your phone. So you have to just promote your bot to admin. So here I have already made my this person as admin. And now here, let me send a message. To Hello. 
team we have a meeting at 3 p.m today so this is just a general meeting let's click on enter so as soon as we have done that i'm going to go back to public connect and see we have received the api response so here we have the first name as Pabli, then the last name as T because it is the name of the owner. And then the chat title is Excel Messages 1234. The type is group. As we come down, this is the text message. Hello team, we have a meeting at 3 p.m. today. So we have received the information. Now what do we want? That this message should be saved in our Excel sheet. So I'm going to choose my action application as Excel. And now the action event here would be add row to worksheet because I want that every time I get some new data that should be added as a new row. Let's click on connect. And here we want Pabli Connect to connect itself with Microsoft Excel account. For this, we will have to click on add new connection and then connect with Microsoft Excel. I've already logged into my Microsoft Excel account. So I have to just pick an account and then provide it the access. So we have provided the access. Now we can see that the authorization has been successful. So here, Pabli Connect and Microsoft Excel, they are now connected. And now you can see it is asking me for the workbook and the worksheet. So let me just show you this is the workbook that I have already created. The name is Telegram Messages. And here the worksheet name is Sheet 1. We have the following information, first name, last name, message and date. So going back to Public Connect, here I'm going to select Telegram Messages. Sheet 1 as the worksheet has already been captured. Now we need the first name. For this, I'm going to map the data and this is the first name. Then we have the last name. So let's quickly get the last name here. Once done here, we have to map the message. So I'm going to map the message, which is here. Hello team, we have a meeting at 3 p.m. today. The last column is asking for date. But if I go up and if I see the date, it is there in timestamp format, which means we'll have to format this date. For that, I'm going to add another action step here. And the step is a feature by Pabli, which is date time formatter. Here, let's select the action event as format date only. Once done, let's click on connect. And then here the date has to be mapped. So let's quickly map the date. So this is the date. And now from format, the format is timestamp. So I'm going to click on this and now we have to select the two format. So the two format can be as simple as date, month and year. So let's click on this. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the date as 25th of August 2022. Once done, I'm again going to click on connect, select existing connection and click on save. And here I'm going to map this data now. So go to data, date, time formatter, click on result and save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the response. I'm going to take you to my Excel sheet now to see if it has received the response. Let's click on refresh here and yes. See, we have received the information. First name is Pabli, last name is T. Then we have the message and we have the date. So, which means that this integration process is a success. And now we have to check this in real time. For that, I'm going to go back to Telegram and send another message here. So let's say that message is, hello team. The meeting is rescheduled to 4.30 p.m. And now let's click on enter. So here you can see that the message has been received. Now what should happen? The same message should be received on our Excel sheet. Going back there, I'm going to refresh this page. And yes, here you can see then that we have received the message and the date. So basically we are done with the process. The integration is complete and this is just a one time setup. You do not have to set up this integration again and again. Now every time there's a message to in Telegram, it will automatically be saved on this Microsoft Excel sheet. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and let's quickly understand the process. This is a very simple two step integration process where we had added one feature by Pabli. So the trigger application was Telegram bot where the event was set webhook watch updates. Then the action was Microsoft Excel. This was the application and the event was add row to worksheet. 
here since we needed the date so we had to change the format and that is why we had added another feature by Pabli which is date time formatter and we had chosen format date only I hope this is very much clear to you in case you have any doubt you can always visit the workflow which is given in the description box and you can even clone this and plus this immediately if in case you have any suggestion or advice you can always write to us I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.